Whether you're a student or you're an architect, chances are that you need a secondary display, but you don't have one or you don't want to be carrying around a heavy monitor everywhere you go. But chances are you do have an iPad and today I'm going to show you how to use your iPad as a secondary display for your PC. And I think this works with Mac too, but I'm not too sure on that. All you need is an iPad, your PC, an app that's free. There's a paid version, but I'm using the free version and it works just as fine. And you need iTunes installed on your computer. So the version that I'm using is called Splash Top Wired Display. And you could just download that app on your iPad. And the paid version, the one that people mostly prefer for $10 is a duet display. I haven't used it, but I've heard it's really, really good. So once you get the app, it's gonna start doing something like this on your iPad. All you have to do is go on your desktop and type in splashtop.com slash wired X display and I'll put that link in the description and then you just download it for the PC or for the Mac so I guess it does work for the Mac. You download the app from the website from splashtop.com and it starts to install on your computer. Once that's downloaded you're gonna have something that looks like this. It's very simple. All you have to do is make sure you have iTunes installed. I put my frame rate to high and my quality to high and that's it. Once you have that you connect your iPad using your lightning cable and there you go, you have a secondary display. Now there was two problems that I had when I first did this. So go down to your search bar on your computer and type in display. So this menu could pop up. And once you're here, you're gonna notice that there's a number one and number two. You can tell really quickly which one this one is just because it allows you to change the brightness. So I have one highlighted, I could change the brightness. So one represents this and two represents this. If for some reason you have the iPad on this side, you just wanna make sure that the number two is on the right hand side and you press apply. What happens is that now if I try to move the mouse to the left, it won't let me because it thinks that this display is on the right. So now I could just move over to the right and you see the mouse over here. So in my case, my iPad is gonna be on my left hand side. So I'm gonna put this display on the secondary. The second thing that uh, happened to me when I first got this app was that it wasn't a secondary display. It was a mirror of what was going on here. And if you wanna change that, all you simply have to do on your computer is hold function and press F3 for this menu to pop up. And then you just make sure it says extend and it doesn't say duplicate. And there you go. Now you have a secondary display to use. That's an iPad. It's easy to carry around. It, the battery lasts a long time. Um, chances are a lot of you guys have iPads and many of you probably even have iPads that you don't even use. So now you could actually put some use to it. Um, I haven't tried it with any programs except for Adobe Premiere um, and Photoshop and they both work great. Keeping your tools on one side and then keeping the actual canvas on another works great. Let me know down in the comments if this works for you and what other softwares you're using it with. For example, I'm really curious to see if it works with Enscape. My computer's uh, not working properly, so it's not letting me open Enscape. I'm gonna have to uninstall it, but I'm curious to see what other programs this works with. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I wasn't supposed to be making a video today, but I found out how to do this just now, and I really wanted to share it with you guys. So I really do hope you enjoy this cool little trick, and I'll see you down in the comments.